Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you very much for joining me. Yesterday, before prices launched at the 68 cent handle in the European session, earlier the Australian dollar gained a slight footing after the release of the Australian job data. According to the Australian Bureau of Statistics, figures showed that the nation added a lower than expected 14,700 jobs through September. Of that, full-time increased by 9,000. And part-time, inclusive of that, was 11,300. At this time, the market dropped the unemployment rate from 5.3 to 5.2 in September. These numbers will now give the Reserve Bank a little bit more fault to their next rate cut, as it is likely now that the market has probably moved from November, probably out to February. But this all depends again on the data. Then after that, the Australian dollar launched to a four-week high of 68.32, after learning the European Union and the UK have a Brexit deal once again. But according to news sources, this was dampened after the Democrat Unionist Party, the Duke, poured cold water onto the Brexit deal. And so they refused to accept the Brexit deal. Shifting our attention now to the indicators does suggest the fact we are back to the top side of the range. And I do believe as long as we don't break above 68.60, that's where the stops are, then we should drop back towards 67.70. Also to come today is the Chinese GDP data, so that could put a bit of an effect to the bearish case and therefore see the Aussie drop back. It would seem that the euro has also taken a challenge to the upside after the dollar index crushed the night level of 97.50 and posted a fresh low of 97.19. This on the flip side saw the euro rally now to the level of 111 figure 15. After posting an intraday high of 111.39, the bulls may try to take the challenge higher, but the bears have to act now. As long as we don't break above 111.55, that's where I believe the stops are, then we should see the market pull away. We are overbought, and probably now to a point that the market should drop back towards the region of 110.65. That is the bear trigger level that would negate the upside and instead turn the focus back towards 109.30 to 45. Well, dollar yen since the break of 108.60 hasn't staged any significant move to the upside. More to the fact, it's still looking towards the downside, but the trigger level was at 108.40. It did post a low of 44 overnight, so it didn't quite get to the level that was looking for for a move to the downside, which I still anticipate may come through. That is if we get a break of 108.40. This would open way towards 107.85 to 107.15 to 35. Well, as I said before, there was all eyes on the UK and European Brexit deal. Still to, to come, though, the market's still got to decide on whether or not the uh, Democrat Unionist Party does turn their view around. But at the moment, it still looks uncertain. With the 130 trigger now being rejected, well, the fact is I'm um, still neutral. It's very hard to trade a very volatile market, especially when you see something from 122 up to 130, 800 points in six days. You just can't. It's very difficult to trade it. So I'd rather sit out just for the moment when it comes to the sterling. Gold, however, I am looking at this level that's seen around 1,512 to 14. I believe it's a trigger level if we break it. Now, with safe haven demand coming back into the market due to the uncertainties that's still out there, could still see a move towards this level of one, as I say, 1,512 to 14. And if breached, doesn't see any target until 1,530. At the moment, though, we are still somewhat slightly mixed. So I'd still prefer to wait to better opportunity and see when the market plays into the bullish case because we can still get a pullback somewhere towards 86 to 76. So it's very hard at this stage to get involved at this level. My oil view, view that is, is still bullish and I still like to see the move up towards $56.40.70. And I do feel that the market is still holding in, in front of that level of 52.65. 
Well, that wraps up for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the Inch Day Report. Hope you enjoy the great starts of the day and the great starts this new weekend.